Well, hey, good morning, guys. I hope you all are doing well. Thank you for tuning in to our Bible story for today. Remember, we are in the book of Job, so what you need to do right now is make sure you have your Bible, go and grab your Bible reading card, and have it ready to check off at the end of our time together. I have a question for you before we get started. Who is your favorite superhero? Most people know that my favorite superhero is Batman. And if you know anything about Batman, Batman has a ton of enemies. He has so many enemies. I think he's got more enemies than I think any other superhero. There's the Riddler, the Joker, Penguin, Poison Ivy, Mr. Freeze. The list goes on, right? We're going to find out today in this Bible story who God's arch enemy is. Who his nemesis is. His greatest enemy or the enemy that thinks he's God's greatest enemy. Really, God has no rivals. No one can stand against him. No one can defeat him. No one can overpower him. No one can overtake him. God is the supreme ruler over everything. He is the creator. And the Bible says that Jesus upholds everything in the universe simply by the word of his power. At the snap of a finger, in just one word, Jesus can change everything. And so we know that no one can stand up against Jesus. There is no one like him. So we're going to read in today's Bible story and find out who this arch enemy is, who God's nemesis is. And we're going to start in Job chapter 1, verse 6, and we're going to read through verse 12. So here we go. Now, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. The Lord said to Satan, From where have you come? Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth and from walking up and down on it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man who fears God and turns away from evil? Then Satan answered the Lord, Does Job fear God for no reason? Have you not put a hedge of protection around him and all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his possessions have increased in the land. But stretch out your hand against him, and he will curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Okay, behold, all that he has is in your hand. Only against him do not stretch out your hand. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. Now, one question I have for you. What did Satan say that Job would do? Verse 11, but stretch out your hand and touch all that he has, and Job will curse you to your face. Remember, Job, yesterday's reading, we found out that he is a very, very rich man, that he has so many animals, 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, 500 female donkeys, like 10 kids, tons of servants. This dude is rich, and he has a lot of stuff. And he is blessed, and he's blameless, and he's upright. This guy's like on top of the world. He's amazing. But Satan said the reason why he is that way is because God has provided for him, and he's protected him. And so Satan is putting up a test, a challenge against God. And he said, I bet you, God, that if you touch all that he has, take everything away from him, all his family, all of his stuff, all of his belongings, all of his sheep, all of his donkeys, all of his servants, take everything away, he will curse you to your face. And what that means is Job would reject God, not trust him anymore, and have nothing to do with him. So what is the point of this passage today? This passage is all about us seeing the test, the test that Satan is putting up against God and against Job. And the test is this, will Job trust God no matter what happens in his life? Will Job trust him? Will Job trust God no matter what? That's the test. And we're going to find out what happens in tomorrow's reading. And the rest of the story of the book of Job is all about what Job will do. How will he respond to God in the midst of maybe losing everything that he has? That's our story for today. I hope you guys tune in with me tomorrow. We're going to continue reading on. Now, make sure you grab your reading plan card and check off the box for today's reading. This is a really good feeling when you do this. 
I'm excited to be doing with this, this with you guys, and I cannot wait to see you tomorrow morning. Let's pray together really quick. Jesus, thank you so much for the Bible. Thank you for your word that it has the power to change us. We love you so much for it. We can trust you because of it, and it's in your name we pray. And we all said, amen. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.